Please welcome Buddy Wakefield. Gandhi's autobiography is on my pillow. I put it there every morning after I make my bed so that I'll remember to read it before falling asleep. I've been reading it for 11 years. I'm on chapter two. Gary Nietzsche gave me a book when he left my house one time. I don't remember the name of it exactly, but I think it was called something like, Kid, You Are Seriously Codependent. He thought I might want to flip through and learn about that. I feel like it's more important to finish Gandhi's autobiography first, Gary. I keep forgetting to put focus on my to-do list. I keep forgetting to wander and have fun. I know I'm transparent, but my insecurities are in all the right places. So go ahead, have a look. <laughs> when I was a child, the first thing I would do upon entering someone's home is I would ask them where they kept the toys, right? If they said that they did not have any toys, I would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> who does that? <laughs> My mom, who worked for Mary Kay at the time, this was after her Tupperware phase, she had, this, she had this mammoth supply of buffing cream samples. Y'all have no idea what buffing cream is used for, but she washed my mouth out with it. I cussed a lot when I was a child. I absolutely love buffing cream. <laughs> when I was a child, I would chase my babysitter around the house, viscerally sounding out the end of the letter L. She thought it was weird. <laughs> My mom had bought me this big cylinder can of alphabet blocks with uh, different colored letters painted on each side. I had convinced myself that I had swallowed the yellow letter L. I was just trying to get it out of my body. There was so much that I would like to get out of my body. When will we own ourselves completely? Tell me what it is you want me to own. I'll take it. Damaged goods? You bet. Hit or miss? <laughs> no doubt about it. Mrs. Important Social Cues? <laughs> Sometimes, I'm dirty underneath the light. I'm pale on the backside of my bright, and I feel so stupid about learning a language whenever I experience God, because that guy, so fast. My best friend can speak six languages. I still get pretty excited English took hold. <laughs> Sometimes I don't feel like I'm doing my part on this planet. Sometimes I read without paying attention, hoping everything will just sort of sink in so that if I ever do need the answers, you know, like on a test, my subconscious will somehow pull through for me. I talk too much. If you see me being quiet, don't ask me what's wrong. I'm just practicing. I often wonder if anyone died because of the pencil I handed to a prisoner at San Quentin State Penitentiary. <laughs> he stuck it in his pocket. The point is... Thank you. <laughs> I'm sharp. The point is, there are things wrong with us, maybe, there are things wrong with me, clearly, but I do have the ability to split epiphanies with my face on demand. Hold me like a birthmark. Awkward if you have to. I wander, so if you lose me, don't worry. After the big tsunami, the only structure still standing in the wiped out village of Malacca was a statue of Mahatma Gandhi. I want to be able to stand like that after getting gargled and spanked and spit out by God, I want to know that I do not have to fall every time the sky opens up like a coin return to change me into little lines on maps drawing circles around my blood to show the scars here in the shape of Gandhi on my pillow to show that I've been here before and tonight it is not the last time we will see the light so let your head climb back down through your throat and into your body that way it can get a good look at just how incredible you are when you are not compared to anything Y'all, we can stick anything into the fog and make it look like a ghost, but tonight, let's not become tragedies. We are not...
funeral homes with propane tanks in our windows looking like cemeteries. Cemeteries. That is just the Earth's way of not letting go. Let go tonight. Let's turn our stupid wrists so far backwards that the razor blades and our pencil tips cannot get a good angle on all that beauty inside. Step into this with your airplane parts. Move forward and repeat after me with your heart, not your mouth. I no longer need you to fuck me as hard as I hated myself. Make love to me. Like you know I am better than the worst thing I ever did go slow. I'm new to this, but I have seen nearly every city in the world from a rooftop without jumping. I have realized that the moon, it did not have to be full for us to love it, that we, we are not tragedy stranded here beneath it, that if my heart really broke, <laughs> really, every time I fell from love, I would be able to offer you confetti by now. But hearts don't break, y'all. They bruise and get better. We were never tragedies. We, we were emergencies. So you go ahead, call 911. Tell them I'm having a fantastic time. Thank you. <laughs>